Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome back to the All About Favorite channel. I am your host, Pastor KZ. For all of you who are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And for my current subscribers, thank you all <clears throat> for your continued support. Today, I am wearing a t-shirt, the Divine Favorite Community Outreach Ministries. That is the church that I am a pastor of and have been since 2004. I like to tell my members that we are like one of the seven churches in the book of Revelation, the smallest, the few in number, but I believe God is well pleased with us. We don't have a big crowd. We don't do a whole lot of different things, but what we do believe in is learning about God's word and actually putting into action the things that we're studying from his word. We are on a holistic journey of self-care this year. Some of the members we have touched and agreed on getting ourselves back in balance, getting refocused, redirecting and rechanneling some of the things that we've been doing that's off-centered. And what we're trying to do now is take better care of ourselves. We are talking about wellness this year in 2023 in Divine Favor Community Outreach Ministries. If you'd like to join in and watch us on Zoom, we are there on Sundays at 10 a.m. from 10 a.m. to about 11.15. So come on in. We'll let you in. Now, on this Saturday, I'm just going to do a brief pop-in. A brief pop-in. <clears throat> I want to say this. It's your time to change some things. Now is the time to get some things over with. In other words, now is the time to bring some things to an end. Close the book on some things. Um, turn a page. I'm just going to use some different illustrations. Turn a page. In order to get to the end of a book, say you have a book and you're just stuck on this one page. It's time for you to start turning some pages. Turn some pages so you can get to the end of the book. Some of you have been stuck you stand in a rut. You keep dwelling on the past. You keep li reliving and reliving something. It's now time to turn a page. Who am I talking to today? It's time to get some things over with. It's time to end some things. Stop making excuses so you can continue to hold on to the past. Stop it. Now is the time for you to say, you know what? I got to let go of this so I can grow. Some of you have not grown because you haven't let go of something. You got to understand there are some situations you cannot change. You cannot go back and redo. There's no do over for some things and you got to be all right with that. There's some people you can't have a do over with and you have got to be okay with that. There's something that's holding you back and you have got to understand this is holding you hostage. You are captive. You're not free. You're not living your best life as long as you stuck, as long as you own that first page. At some point, you got to leave the contents of the book and start reading the book chapter by chapter so you can move ahead. I'm just saying on this Saturday, I believe it's time for you to move ahead. You know, you've got to start asking the Most High God to help you. You can't do this by yourself. You need help. And help starts with you journaling. Help starts with you being able to acknowledge and admit and be honest that I'm stuck and I need help. And that help comes from Almighty. It comes from your higher power. Now, You've got to pray and ask God to help you move beyond it. Help me get past this. I'm holding on to this and it's hindering me. Sometimes your worst enemy is you. Sometimes you blocking your own blessing because you're holding on to stuff that God says it's time to let go of this. Sometimes you are the root cause of your misery. Let's bring that thing into balance. Let's get some things corrected. Let's let it go. Just let it go. And accept the fact that you know what? This happened or this ended. I got to move forward. I can't let this 
dictate and determine the rest of my life. Now, also with that, there's a lot of our ancestors have come through slavery. And that, just the trauma of that experience it, it, it was hard for them to let go, but they knew in order for them to get to the next level or to persevere, certain things, I got to push this out. I got to let this go. I got to remove this thought because I'm going to stay stuck. So even our ancestors knew in order to survive and thrive, I've got to get past some things. That's all I'm saying to you today. You got to get past some things. You've got to let go of some things so you can move and live your best life and have peace. Because if you ain't got peace, that's it's hard to want for anything else. Peace of mind is so very important, especially in our community. With so much going on, we stressed out every time we walk out the door, every time our husbands leave the house, every time our sons leave the house. We don't know if we're going to be getting that phone call or that knock on the door about our husband being killed, our sons being murdered. Y'all, we've got to let go of certain things in order to grow so we can redirect our focus and channel that energy towards something else. Now, let me say this. Tomorrow is Super Bowl Sunday. Yes, I'm going to have my snacks ready to go. I'm going to have a few carrot sticks, mm, maybe some celery sticks, but I'm going to have some bad food there too to watch the game kickoff time. Looking forward to the halftime show. Mm, side eye and that, but let's move it along. All right, I know you're waiting to hear Pastor KZ's pick, right? I told you I love both teams, but for African Heritage Month, Black History Month, once again, we have two quarterbacks, the man who gonna touch the ball every time the offense is on the field, two African American descent quarterbacks. Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts. You know, there was a time when they said brothers would never be quarterbacks because they weren't smart enough. Well, we got two playing in the Super Bowl. They were smart enough to do something right. So, I'm with both teams. I don't know who I'm going to rep yet, but I will say in this pains me even though I don't I'm not sure either way I win because I love both teams but my pick okay somebody's like stop stalling Pastor KZ and get to it what were you doing yesterday when I told you to bring your life into balance don't try to rush me boy I got this okay my pick for Super Bowl 57 AFC Kansas City Chiefs. I just believe Andy Reid is going to out-coach him. Sorry. Even though Philadelphia, I'm with, I rode with you the whole season. This particular game, I just think Andy Reid got some tricks up his sleeves. And he just might out-coach you, Nick Sirianni. That is my belief. Have a wonderful Saturday. And I will definitely look forward to giving you a word for the dates on tomorrow. Be blessed. Stay favored. Always walk in favor. I'll see you back tomorrow.